All right, guys, breaking news. WWE announcer Josh Matthews has been released from the company last uh, about a week or two ago. They had the Black Thursday. Ten talents got released, including referee. And now Josh Matthews has, in fact, been released. Josh Matthews has been hosting the pre-shows. Uh, I don't know if he's been commentating other shows. I haven't really been watching Superstars or any of the other ones. I know Tom Phillips has been getting a lot of duties lately. Backstage interviewing uh, Byron Saxton, uh, Tom Phillips, Renee Young have really been kind of taking over. So Josh Matthews has been serving on the pre-shows, etc. And uh, I think this is a this is kind of a blow. I mean, I don't think anybody will necessarily like. I don't know. I don't see it as big as a release as like a superstar, but still. I mean, Josh Matthews has been, I mean, he's been with the company 13 years. He's been there since the original Tough Enough on uh, the reality shows, and he's been there as, you know, filling in since 2003. So this is a long-time release. I mean, this is a guy that's been with the company for quite a while, and they're going in and cutting him now. Like I said, they have a lot of guys from NXT, other commentators that have been slowly coming up, slowly but surely. Um, Byron got repackaged from the wrestler into the announcer and everything, and they've doing they're doing a good job down at NXT. Tom Phillips, I do like him. Renee Young, I'm a huge fan of. I would have been way more disappointed if it was announced Renee Young got released, but still, all in all, this is still um, a sign that maybe there are more cuts to come. I mean, who else would possibly be next here on the? I know a lot of people be like, I wish they get rid of JPL or Jerry Lawler or Michael Cole, like one of those guys. I'm sure a lot of people. Uh, I would feel a little differently. I know some people on my Twitter, it's kind of been up in the air whether or not they like Josh Matthews, whether they didn't like him. Uh, you know, he's been kind of filling in. He's been getting beat down. I mean, he was the uh, commentator for Saturday Morning Slam. He commentated on main event, and then uh, him and uh, Phillips were on Superstars. So as far as this goes, this is a pretty uh, – I think it's a pretty significant release because of the simple fact that, you know, it is an announcer who's still active. It's not like somebody who hasn't – like Kurt Hawkins or, you know, one of the guys, the wrestlers that hasn't been on TV. He still is on TV. He's, you know, a part of the shows. He's, you know, a, a part of this stuff. So I, I still think it is a, a little bit of a big deal. I mean, it's not something that I was necessarily expecting. If, if anybody, I wasn't expecting it to be Josh Matthews. He's got 400-plus – thousand twitter followers you know he's kind of a i enjoy listening to him i think he's a good commentator and you know him and um matt striker used to commentate together and i like them so uh, i want to know your guys' thoughts on this do you think another announcer if they were you know they are cutting costs and they had to get rid of an announcer whatnot do you think uh he was the right choice would you have preferred somebody else to get released and uh is this a sign of more things to come i think with everything that's going on in WWE, with them losing as much money as they have, I think you know these cost-cutting measures are true. I don't think they're just rumors at this point. I think WWE with the network has got a lot of money to be making up, and uh, this is how they do it. They start cutting talents, and unfortunately, it's a, you know it's a, it's a thing that happens in the business. You have to replace guys that necessarily aren't worth the money, and I think some of the guys on the announcing, commentating, backstage interview team really aren't doing anything to help solicit the money and you know, keep him to be a viable option. So let me know in the comment section below. Who do you think's next? Is anybody next? Is this the end of the cuts? Josh Matthews, I enjoyed you, man. Uh, I wish you the best, of the, the best of luck in the future endeavors. And Booker T's reality of wrestling, the one that I used to promote a long time ago, and uh, I still love to this day. Uh, he's going to be the commentator for the IPPV on July 26th, which is a pretty big card. So check out Booker T's reality of wrestling, Summer of Champions. Uh, an eye pay per view on July 26, and uh, he will be the official commentator for that pay per view. So, until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Josh Matthews, I'm sorry you got future endeavored, but there's always more, there's always other places to go. And until next time, we will see you all later.